hi, welcome. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the E-Flare. The E-Flare is a portable HomeKit light. So continue to watch this video to find out more. Hi, welcome back. My name is John and this channel is dedicated to everything OMKIT news reviews and tutorials. If you've not already subscribed, then hit the subscribe button and also the bell button. So lighting is a big part of my HomeKit setup. I have over 40 lighting devices. However, all of these are connected via power. So when you've sent over this portable home kit light. I couldn't wait to check it out. Now, I just want to be totally transparent. You've sent this over free of charge for the review. This will not influence the review in any way. I'll give you the good and the bad. Also, if you're thinking about buying one of these, then check out the links in the description below as there's some retails that we've partnered with in order to help this channel out at no extra cost to you. So the E-Flare retails for about $99 or 89 euros, and it's got a 90 aluminum LED built inside. It's also IP65 water resistant, and it also works with HomeKit. It's got a built-in battery, which Eve say lasts up to six hours, and it also has got wireless charging. It doesn't require a hub in order to connect to HomeKit, and it works over Bluetooth. In the box, you get the Eve flare along with the wireless charging base, the power supply, and the quick start manual. So let's now get into the design and some of its features. So the E-Flare is a 25 centimeter cylinder shape. It features a flat base, which allows you to rest it on a surface or its wireless charging pad. You have two physical buttons. One of these turns it on or off, and the other one is to cycle through preset color modes. You also find the HomeKit code along with the wireless contact points. And it's finished off with a handle, which you can use to carry the device if you choose to do so. Now the E-Flare works exclusively with its own app or HomeKit. The Eve app is only available for iOS devices, so you need to make sure that you're an Apple user if you want to use this product. Now the E-Flare is waterproof to IP65, but what this essentially means, it will stand water jets for up to 15 minutes, so it will be okay in the rain or if you chose to take it in the shower, but I wouldn't recommend leaving it out overnight or in a heavy downpour, because this certainly would possibly damage it. But this is a really good feature because it means you can use it in different locations without having to worry about it too much if you've got it wet. So now moving on to setup and how to get started. Now setting up the device involves downloading the Eve app. Now this is one of my favorite HomeKit apps. So it's worth checking out if you've not already done so. And now before I set up, I put the flare on for a full charge. This took around two hours to give it a full blast of power in order to get it to 100%. I then opened up the Eve app and followed the instructions by going to add accessory and scanning the HomeKit code. Once I'd scanned the HomeKit code, I then was greeted with a familiar HomeKit setup, which allowed you to name the device if you wanted to do so, add it to the relevant room, and also change the icon if you wanted to. Once that was all done, it was all available in the Eve app and also available within HomeKit. Now moving on to using and controlling the flare. Now you can control it three ways. You can control it using the buttons on the bottom of the device. You also could use it with the Eve app and also use it with HomeKit and Siri controls. Now let's have a look at the onboard controls. First of all, you've got the power button, which turns it on or off. It's worth noting that if you do turn it off via this method, it won't be available within HomeKit or the Eve app, so you need to switch it back on. So I wouldn't normally recommend doing this because you lose the HomeKit and Eve control. Uh, you've also got the mode button, which cycles through preset colors. Now these are the ones that you've set up within the Eve app. But whilst these are nice controls to have, especially if you've not got your phone nearby and you want to either turn it off or change the color, but, but the best way to get the most out of it is using the Eve app or HomeKit. So starting with the Eve app, you can find the controls to turn it on or or off. You can also adjust the brightness and you also can change the color from some preset colors. There's some simple preset colors that can be adjusted. There's also easy access color wheel for choosing whatever color you like. You can also create further presets for your favorite colors so you don't have to spin the color wheel each time you want to get a color that you desire. Change the temperature of this device to cool whites 
to warmer whites if you choose that you want to use them. And the Eve app is a pretty good app for controlling and setting colors. You also can check the battery level within the settings, change the icon and several other settings. You also, if you've got an Eve Extend to improve the range of this device, you can add it to that within the settings app. Now, as well as using it with the Eve app, you also can use it with HomeKit. Using the app, you can adjust the flare's brightness, change the color. You can also use the color picker for more precise control using the color wheel. If you want to use Siri, you can use Siri to turn it on or off. You also can integrate it with HomeKit scene. So for instance, you want it as part of your good morning scene or your good night scene where you want to turn it off or you want to use it as part of ambient lighting. You can build it within automations and scenes. And this worked really well when I was testing it. And now again, jumping into the settings within the home app, you can also check the battery level, assign it to a different room or even change the icon. So HomeKit gives you a certain level of control, but one of the things it doesn't do like you can do in the Eve app is you can't set preset colors that are automatically available. Now, this is not a limitation of the Eve product. This is a limitation that sits within HomeKit. Now, moving on to battery life and performance. So I've been using the Eve Flare for about three weeks. So I've not just simply turned it on, had a little bit of play with it, and that's it and wrote the review. I've given it some extensive testing. And now, first of all, charging the Flare is really straightforward. You simply place it onto the charging mat and it is good to go from there. It takes about two hours to give it a full charge. And now Eve quotes that it lasts up to six hours on a single charge. When I first used the device, I got over 11 hours of charge using it. Now I thought this was a fluke at first. I thought had the brightness been turned down, I had not been using it enough in order to simply get the battery life that Eve quoted. So I decided to do some more testing and I replicated a similar battery life, certainly over six hours every single time that I've been using it. And this has been on full brightness, changing the colors repeatedly, using it in various different places, both indoors and outdoors. And the battery life has exceeded the six hours. And I'm really impressed with that. In terms of light performance at 90 luminance brightness, I found it's not enough to light up a room. However, I found I've been using it for mood lighting. So I've been using it in the garden to provide a bit of ambience lighting and also in my living room as a side light next to my TV. I've also been using it in my office to provide a light when I'm working late at night, either editing or writing up a review. And I found it's worked really well, particularly because of the handle. It means I can carry it anywhere and it's not too heavy. So it means that it's very portable and I can use it in various different locations depending on what I want to use it for. And because of the Eve presets, it's allowed me to have preset lights depending on the situation that I'm using the flare in. Now the E-Flare can replicate most colors pretty well. It's especially good with purples, greens, and red shades. But as already mentioned, it's not particularly good at lighting up a full room. So I would certainly recommend this is a type of device to accompany other lights, certainly providing ambient lighting. So my review conclusion, and I think this is normally a very strong word to use for a product, but I actually really love the Eve Flare. I like the fact that it's so portable and you can use it in various different settings. For instance, if you want to use it in the garden or you want to use it in a living room or you want to use it in any room, you know, it can sit within that room. I also like the fact that I can use the Eve app to set up preset lights for different rooms if I want to do that and be able to replicate things very quickly. I also like the fact I can use Siri and I can use the HomeKit. So I can command the light to turn off if I want to do so, or I can simply add it to HomeKit scenes or automations. This is a really good feature. The other thing I do really like is the battery life. It's great to see a battery life that's been quoted to be far exceeded. I also like the fact you can use the handle to carry it around, but you also can use this hook as well to hook it onto things in order to position it in different ways, which is really cool. Although the Eve Flare is a good product, it would have been great if Eve had actually included some sort of transitioning feature to transition through different colors like you do with a Nanoleaf canvas. Also would have been cool if it actually included some sort of music enabled mode that it would change the colors based on sound. That would have been really cool, especially if you were using it in a party environment and you wanted the colors to change. But the bottom line, the Eve Flare is a very good purchase if you're looking for a home kit portable light. Now the Eve Flare is available for 90 
$99 in the US and in Europe it's €89. Euros. Although the time of the review is not available in the UK, but you can use a converter like I did in order to convert the plug and still use it in the UK or other countries if you want to do so. Now there's some links to some of the retailers that we partner up with and don't forget that if you do click on those, we may receive a commission which helps this channel out at no extra cost to you. So that's a wrap on the Evil review. Hopefully you've liked it. If you have, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comment about this product, then leave it in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe as more videos will be coming out. And also don't forget to check out the rest of the channel. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon.